I've done a little bit of grinding since last time and gotten all my weapons prepared to be enhanced at the altar of Bob Hephaestus. Let's see what we got. Heritage sword. Yeah, no surprise that the, the replica sword turns into a real sword. So, a steel long sword typically given to the castle guard. Though these castles fell long ago, these swords remain a testament to the quality of royal armor and have been passed down for generations. It doesn't seem all that great, but it is also one of the first weapons that you're going to be enhancing, so I guess that makes sense. Also, things like the Corrupted Dagger and the Ritual Dagger do not have any EXP, so I guess I can't upgrade those. That's fine, though, because I did actually buy the Rapier for one, so I can throw that on here. And then there's also the Stone Club that I picked up off the ground. So, what are we looking at now? Enhance, please. Silver rapier. So, how does this what does this thing look like? A thin piercing sword made of the finest silver, no doubt manufactured during the crusades for battle against the undead, and it seems to do holy damage. Now, I do think that one of the areas that I'm going to be going to has is like the accursed tomb or something. Maybe this is the thing to take in there. Yeah, I mean, I was trying to figure out which area I was going to be going to next, and now the choice seems obvious. Of course, then I also got the Stone Club, which, while powerful, pretty slow. And it turns into an Iron Club. Okay, I guess, <laughs> sure. That's a... Uh... Oh, and not even just that. It also has its own weapon XP. We got three levels. Well, at least three levels of upgrading. It's just fully turning into Drakengard now. <laughs> gotta, gotta get all that weapon lore. A solid Iron Club, heavy use over time, has sharpened it into a formidable weapon. A fearsome weapon, whatever. But yeah. Take some time to actually, you know, charge up, but I guess would do some pretty good damage. However, I am going to use the rapier. We're going to go over to the Accursed Tomb, and I'm probably going to have a much easier time now with this thing. Besides, you can see kind of how quickly it charges up. And since I'm no longer going to be using the torch, I did go back and get the ghost light just because, well, otherwise it's going to be impossible to see. Probably. Maybe. I mean, who knows? It could also just be that I want to go back to using the torch just because damage over time is that powerful. Accursed Tomb. Yep. That sounds like a place that's going to have a lot of ghosts and ghouls in there, right? At least that's what I'm thinking. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess the crystal is kind of lighting it up here, but everything else is just extremely dark. Get a little bit more of that lunacy to start and actually see what everything looks like when I'm not just, you know, using the torch every single time. A lot more blue, I guess. Oh, they're actual... Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, got it. Well, anyway, uh... So, I guess anything that actually has a picture in it is going to be... Yeah, a problem. Oh, and when you kill them, they actually leave some light, which I guess is useful, but not... Wait, something else attacking me? Am I taking... I'm taking fire damage from walking it. Okay. Well, I guess that... Sure. Provides a light source, also provides a way to damage myself in case that would ever be a thing that I want. Painting themed. Yeah, this is very... Hmm? Did I want to do that? I don't know. Well, now I'm going to actually get some use out of those uh, mana vials, I guess. The catacombs. I mean, it is the accursed tomb, so not straight up, uh, not, not straight up. Oh, jeez, look at this. Okay, uh, not straight up, just a museum or something that I'm going into. No, it's a very claustrophobic tunnel, oh boy. Well, I was told that there are a lot, lot, lot of secrets in this game, so although I have been trying to get... Okay. Ah! Yeah, well, speaking of, like, classic Castlevania type of enemies, uh, that's definitely one you see an awful lot. Usually not in 3D, though. Uh, I'm, I'm looking for secrets. I'm trying to get secrets, but I'm especially looking for secrets now. I still haven't even found any one of those, um... It does not last long. Uh, I still haven't even found any one of those, um... The VHS tapes. I think that's... It's so weird, considering that this is, of course, a very... You know, uh, medieval -y sort. I mean, I guess there's no guarantee that it's medieval. After all, it's a it's a world shattered by the reemergence of an old god sort of creature. Does this hurt me? No. <laughs> it, it could very well have been in the VHS 
age prior to that happening. You don't. Not quite sure, but I think this is doing some pretty good damage. Also, more uh, more items to actually to actually uh, do some alchemy with. Not that I've really explored that too much so far. Jeez, this is a spooky area, by the way. I know the accursed tombs never would have thought, but still, it's like, man, I know this is not really a horror game, but stuff like walking into the the blood ocean last time and this sort of thing is. Well, I guess everything has glowing eyes and whatnot, so seems to be mostly safe. Still, if I had something like this jump behind me and suddenly take a huge bite out of my head, that would be, well, it would be definitely be a different story. All right, it is the accursed tombs after all. Glad I got ghost light, because otherwise, otherwise it just, it, yeah, torch. Well, here's a question. How would the torch do here? My assumption is that, of course, you know, the, the weapon I'm using right now is doing quite well. Maybe the torch would be just fine, too. Still think this is a prime opportunity to throw a jump scare in here or something. Which I guess now that I'm thinking about it, they did that in uh, Ao Oni. So, you know, something of that sort. Honestly, torch is a lot more welcoming. Okay, the silver right here is much better. Um, torch is a lot more welcoming than uh, ghost light, but... I guess if I want to actually do damage. No, no, no. The elemental weakness is absolutely the way to go. No question on that one. Besides, new weapon. I don't want to just be using the torch the entire time. Even as effective as it is. Also, take note. No skeletons. Skeletons are friendly in this game. I'm going to be running around in a circle so much in this place, aren't I? Well, uh, no maps. Not that sort of game. Nope. Alright, only melee attacks, though, make this at least fairly simple. And, yeah, I've already got, like, two levels. By the way, almost level 30. I didn't even feel like I was grinding for that long in terms of trying to find the... Or trying to get the, the weapon levels up. But I guess as it... Yeah, I, I'm not going to go into any place in the dark. I'm going to be eaten by a Gru. Uh, yeah, I, I, apparently it was enough to get me... To almost level 30 at this point in time of which of course I am putting it all in movement speed because by the end of this I want it to look like some sort of uh, RPG version of marathon apparently <laughs> God knows that it, you know you're never going to regret being able to move fast I hate walking down these hallways <laughs> this is a real foreboding atmosphere Needless to say, it's just like, you know, watching at home, I'm sure having me talk over it probably makes it a little bit less, uh... Oh, you can have multiple of these. <laughs> I'm gonna just delight this place up, I guess. Cool. If, if that's even remotely worthwhile, probably not. Okay, so I guess I'm gonna have to go off of these things to try and figure out where I'm going. Oh, boy. By the way, are these readable? No. Unfortunate. Alright, well, I, I mean... The music is certainly not helping either. Oh my god, I, I... Okay, okay, okay. I think at this point in time, I'm gonna just like cut back when I find something because I get the distinct feeling that I am walking around in a circle. <laughs> okay, well, wandering around the, the catacombs, I did find some place, some sort of exit, I guess. I'm not gonna look this gift horse in the mouth and what do you got? Vampire Hunter Sword. Okay, now we're talking. But, I mean, aside from that, uh, is there... I have no idea where I am right now. <laughs> I just spent like five minutes walking around in the... A, a jail, I guess. Which, I mean, God knows with the, with the Silent Hill music currently happening right now is not really making me feel too, too confident. I mean... <laughs> I'll say this, this game's got a lot of atmosphere. Okay. Yeah? Hearing something yell. Okay, I... Is, is Vampire Sword something that I can... <laughs> before I go any farther, is Vampire Sword... Uh, used by a famous thing. Blade forms an elegant arc and does light damage. Fantastic. Let's, let's take that. Let's check it out. 
Oh, we're in a pretty cool. What, what is the damage like compared to the uh, the other weapon I was using? 35 versus 30. Speed is much better. Okay, so needless to say, this is not the best. But it is probably an effective item. Let's put this behind me instead. And go... I don't know, see if I can't slay some vampires. Somehow I have my doubts, but... I'll see if there's anything around here regardless. I can see something shining in the distance. Well, not much, but I guess... I mean, I have no... I, I don't... This is something. I'll say that. I'll be honest, I don't really know too much about this game. It could actually just turn into like some sort of weird horror thing at this point in time, and I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, the entrance is right over here. Good. Wait, the entrance to what? <clears throat> Light the three, three fires of Prometheus. Only then, uh, Prometheus. <laughs> Can't just constantly mispronounce things all the time for my own amusement. Only then shall vision be restored. Okay, cool. I mean, I, I'm guessing that's probably the one thing that I activated earlier. So, two more left to go? Ghostlight, what do you make of this? Because I can't ask my... my snail buddy anymore. You know, having lost him. Well, anyway. Hey, y'all got any more uh, Prometheus lights around here? You know anything about Prometheus lights? I don't think this guy knows too much about Prometheus lights, if I'm being real with you. Anyway. What a nice coffin. Um, okay. <laughs> now that I got the thumbnail out of the way for the video, uh... Okay? Pleasant graves and commoner crypts. Or, peasant graves <laughs> and commoner crypts. <laughs> These are the really nice graves, you know? Entrance. Okay, well... So much for that. Oh my... Yeah, I got me. Oh, I'm just like, I hear some bones clattering. <laughs> this game is getting me. It's getting me. Ah, oh, damn it, I didn't mean to do that, but, uh... Anyway. Oh, no, that's still zero. I'm looking for mana vials. So, wait a second, there are dangerous skeletons in this game. Hold up, I was lied to. Clive. We gotta have a word when I get back to the hub. Well, maybe it was possessed. It had like glowing eyes and stuff. May not have been contr in control of its uh, d bones. <laughs> okay. D d anyway, anyway. Uh, I gotta get my head in the game here. But now, though, I don't really know what's happening. Ah. Now that I'm, now that I know that there are dangerous things all around here that aren't just, you know, eh. you know, nothing. It's like hearing things yell is scaring me. Well, anyway, uh, <laughs> oh. oh, yeah, there we go. I saw the I saw the magic indicator and I thought something was about to jump out at me. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, that's that's good. That'll uh, pay for all the potions that I'm going through at least right now. But um, <laughs> hate this a lot. Uh, anyway, let's just let's just keep going. Over the best. I'm currently in the pleasant graves. After all, these are supposed to be the nice ones, right? <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, more moon-related imagery, I guess. I don't know. Well, whatever. Uh, you can't actually open these things. Jay! Get out of here. Oh, yeah, needless to say, the other weapon that I have. Significantly better. That's too bad, because, of course, the Vampire Hunter Sword is a pretty fun I uh, I idea and everything, but, you know. Just gotta go walk up these walls, see if there's something I can open right now. Uh, but but yeah, it's 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 like I I I spent the time killing a few mummies or whatever. <laughs> no jump scares there. Again, good prime opportunity when I walk into the room. Just get scared by a vampire. 
Especially after I just put away my sword. I mean, I can take it out instantaneously, but still, you know what I'm saying. All right. Yeah, there's something. What? Ah! Amigo? Wait, amigo? <laughs> yeah, I just suddenly stopped by something, and it's just like... Uh, it, oh, fantastic. There's invisible enemies in here now. Oh, yeah, there's invisible enemies in here. Poggers. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. I'm a Lovecraft type of creature. It's supposed to be like some sort of flying insect monster? I, I don't know, except, you know, this one's impossible to see. <laughs> okay, sure. I hate this place. I hate this place a lot. Uh... That's, that's a fun wrinkle in this entire thing. Noble Crypt, fantastic. These are the really fancy ones. Are these... Well, if I suddenly get stopped by something, I know what that is. If I suddenly have... Get attacked by... <laughs> I mean... Yeah, it had some sort of projectile before. Okay. Is this one of these things where it's a, if I had high lunacy, I would actually be able to see it? Oh, uh, you know what? I'm betting that's probably actually the case. Oh, clever! That's a, that's a fun usage of this mechanic. Uh... I know, like, blood, Bloodborne style. <laughs> okay. Alright, there we go. Finally, finally, finally. Maybe it would actually be use, useful to get high lunacy. It wouldn't be too difficult for me to do so. I mean, all I gotta do is just, you know, like... Mm, you know, they, they cast some stuff real fast. And then I can uh, put this sort of... Ah! Yep. Theory to the test. Just go get a lot of light going on, I guess. And then, um... And, uh... Oh, yeah! Uh, yeah! Nope, I called it. There it is. It looks like some sort of lotus plant. Jesus. Alright, well... Oh, used up like all of my stuff, but whatever. I, I I just got like a hundred cents. I'll be fine. Um, crystal shard. Okay, so they're just saying, book it on out of here. However, uh, well, <laughs> it's a fun game. Um, I guess I'm gonna go look around more to see if I can't. Don't. No spooky paintings gonna get me not anymore. I know. I know your gimmick. <laughs> Uh, what was I even saying? Oh, what? I, I I still got one more light to get. So I guess I am going to be. Oh, oh yeah. What you got in here? Earth elix. Ooh, that sounds like something that's going to give me something good. Because I mean, like the the ocean elixir was increased mana. This is. Yeah, there we go. A flask of enchanted water embodying the spirit of the earth. By drinking it, one becomes closer to the earth and gains plus 40% maximum health permanently. All right. There's going to be one beefy anime girl at this point in time. Oh, it's also a heal, too. Well, if I ever find any more of those, I, I guess I'm going to have to remember. Remember that. As it is... Let's keep my lunacy high so that I can see if there's any Eldritch Horrors around here about to just... Ruin my day. You never know, after all. That said, I mean, hey, if I can go find that sort of thing with, like... I, I don't know exactly what that's going to require. I got, like, an ocean bone. Hmm? I mean, first off, you're not fooling me. And second off, uh... I got, like, an ocean bone item, which is probably something in the materials. I can even go check that right now. Um... Ocean bone shard. A small slice of broken ocean bone. Ocean bone shell. A whole piece of ocean bone. Snowflake obsidian. Wait, where, when did I get this? I could probably make some cool stuff, I, I would think, if, you know... Again... I'm not about to die or something. It's hard to say in a place like... This. I don't like the way that there are just sound effects occasionally that happen. It's making me uneasy. It's freaking me out. Okay, well, Noble Crypt's pretty good haul of stuff. Now I just gotta... I mean, it's... 
I, it's it's funny how the lunacy is overtaking me in both in game and in real life at this point in time. I uh, who knew that we would get that sort of thing happening here. Well, I guess I'll cut back again once I find the other other thing because back to wait, am I back at the beginning of the game? I don't even know anymore. No, this is the entrance place. Okay. Survey banner? What is this thing? Is, is this a weapon? Uh, I've got no idea. A yeah, survey banner. A wooden banner used by scouts to lead armies through the depths. Help the... Oh, okay. So something I can put down in known locations. Well, I mean, I know I, where I am right now. This is the peasant crypts again, but... Yeah? Yeah, okay. Doesn't matter. I've learned your tricks at this point in time. Still, though. Uh... All right, but I, I I know where I am right now. This is the the peasant crypt area that I saw before, the pleasant crypts. However, here we got any more walls. It was giving me good stuff last time. I'm not gonna say no to that. Eh, nothing. Wait, that's there's something down there. Now I don't know how I would end up get. That seems like definitely something for a hidden wall type of thing. Because I don't know if I can get... I have no idea. Alright, but uh, once again, cut back when I happen to find something here. Fourth Beth, get a couple levels, and, you know, just in general, restock on my potions. And now... Well, look at how fast I'm moving. But I also noticed that over here... I think that this might just be... Yeah, the entrance place that... Okay, well... That's my fault, to be fair. One could have maybe done this a lot faster at this point in time. But uh, here, th there's also another area over here. Nope. That I never really even really... Oh, man. A lot of junk over here. Uh, that I never really explored earlier. So, take a look. There's maybe something else to be seen. Does seem like if I don't want to have all of the the uh, lunacy anymore, that all I really need to do is just uh, uh, warp back to town. As I, it seems to be entirely gone. Okay, well, going right as it turns out was the correct the the correct way to go. Unfortunately, that does not get me any closer to to actually finding the third one of these sensors. Oh, okay. Yeah, just wandering around again in the catacombs, coming up into this room that I saw earlier. Another ocean elixir. Which, uh, while pretty nice, I mean, does still have the issue of don't know where the last place is that I need to get to. But at least I got that. Okay, and once again, randomly wandering around the catacombs, what do you got over here? I didn't even see what that was, I was too busy looking at the skeleton. Uh, anyway. So, we got wind dash, lithomancy, coffin. Someone's a wooden coffin. The bodies within these coffins have long ago turned to ash, and none know how many bodies have been thrown into the pit. The mad wizard Abdul thought of them more as usable resources and created a few of these rings. What? <laughs> well, I guess we're not really using wind dash too much. Co coffin? Uh, what, what, what do you got? Wow. Wait. The questions arise now in my mind. <laughs> this is... Ah, uh, ridiculous. Oh no, they have physics and you can jump on top of them, you say? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. I don't... No, you can't give me this sort of power. <laughs> well, um... Well, Skeleton, I can see why you wanted this. <laughs> yeah, I found in a room full of coffins. I guess the implication is that the guy died... ...summoning too many of them at once. 
Okay, uh, the environmental storytelling. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't get me any closer to my goal here. Thankfully, at least I'm out of the place where there's a bunch of invisible enemies, though. Guess I'm happy about that. Although I don't know if I'm happy about finding that, because that just opens up so many more possibilities for things that I can do. And now, where is this? Is this that place that I went to with the with the the, the ocean elixir? I think so. Ah, I'm never gonna get out of here. Why am I doing this? Oh, so close. <laughs> well, but I guess, hey, you know, when all you have is a pile of coffins, every uh, problem looks like something that you can pile coffins onto to get up to, right? <laughs> this is probably going to lead to some sort of secret. I mean, I can just imagine that right now. Why not, right? Okay. Uh, I, I should do it, right? If I can just jump. Okay, not quite, but... I mean, look, all I need to do is just lean a couple coffins up against this. This is so... Why did you give me this ability? Uh, uh, not quite. Why did you give me this ability? You knew that this was going to happen, right? Ah, no, you get pushed forward. You knew that this was going to happen. There was no way that this wasn't going to happen when you give me the ability to spawn coffins forever. <laughs> oh my god, this game. I'm actually genuinely really enjoying it. Uh, this is this is exactly what I want out of a <laughs> RPG, I guess. Okay. Oh, I did it. What did I do? <laughs> I don't know. Oh my god, why? Uh, well, thanks, coffins. Let's see what we got up. This looks similar, at least. What? I mean, there weren't paintings. Certainly weren't. Paintings uh, on the bottom level. Don't drop down because you know that's just going to lead back to. Okay, well, I'm just going to run right through this thing. Um, really? Oh no, I'm chained. Uh, well, thankfully, with incredible movement speed, I think I'll be okay. Now then, the real question becomes uh, what, what else we got up here? This seems interesting. Promising. Lightning, okay. I... <laughs> okay. I... That scared me so much for a second. Hi. Oh, what does that mean? Oh, cool. Foggers. <laughs> okay. What do you mean by that? Demi, why? I mean, this is a pretty cool scythe. You think I could get all? Uh, you think I could also get one from death? I'd enjoy that. Okay. Well, I mean, there's a third sensor. Do you think that this was actually the? Eh, fun. Uh, do you think that this was actually like the intended solution that I was in fact supposed to use the coffin to get up here or something? No. That'd be. Is that a spike club? Anyway. Okay. And, uh, yeah, there's like the Bloodborne style seal released. It's like, it even looks like the same room that you would find that. I think I can see some of the inspiration for this game. Okay. Well. Oh, it did say that, yeah, like I wouldn't be able to see unless I got all three of these things up. And then if I'm. Oh, look at that. Like Full Metal Alchemist or something. Uh, anyway, um, what was I saying here? Or maybe this was the place where you're supposed to stack up coffins. Was any place supposed to be the place where you stack up coffins? I don't know. But hey, I guess I don't need the uh, the ghost light anymore. <laughs> there was so there was one area, uh, the the place, uh, the, the mausoleum, and one other like locked door that I'm betting is probably open now. So I'll, I'm gonna go wander around again in the maze until I find that. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess that's how you do that. Uh, well, what's down here then? Maybe it required... Uh, I think this is where I got the the coffin spell previously. 
Or not. I mean, I get, maybe I, I need to get all the lights to be able to do that in the first place. I do see that there is apparently something here. Is it here? No, there was some. Yeah, I saw that. Neat. Ocean, another ocean elixir. Okay. But I am also looking around for the mausoleum then, too, which I guess you got to open in the same way. Oh. One. <laughs> hey, you're not fooling me. I, I, I know these things. Yeah, that appears to be a uh, rat king. <laughs> and not a real thing, by the way. But, yeah, you know, a bunch of rats, like, tied together. Oh, wait, they actually attack me? Oh, no, I'm the friend of rats. Well, there's not anymore. Oh, well. Sometimes it's like that. Also, I'm bleeding. <laughs> okay, then. <laughs> Ooh, an axe. Or a halberd, specifically. Well, you know, I also didn't actually take a look at the uh, the lightning, because I'm staring, I was getting scared by anime. Uh, so, you know, it creates a vibration in the air, resulting in a powerful electric shock. A weaponized light spell used by the Holy Knights during the Crusades. And was one of the few spells not outlawed during this time. Okay, eh, damage 30 is not bad. How much does, like, a uh, flame sphere do? 12? Yeah, needless to say, that is a little bit better. And then the uh, the halberd, on the other hand, since I'm not really going to be using the vampire hunter sword. Uh, so many things. In fact, uh, I, maybe I'm going to go switch. Right now, maybe I am going to go switch out for the iron club, just because I do also want to level that up as well. Halberd, halberd. Oh, yeah, I bought the steel needle as well. Uh, that was 75 in the shop. I'm only missing the... What was it now? Here you are. Uh, I'm only missing the uh, the the crossbow now. A heavy we halberd, a heavy weapon utilizing an axe on top of a long spear. Though typically used against foes on horseback, knights have found the reach to a great advantage. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, I, I would really think that yeah, you probably would find it <laughs> very advantageous to have that sort of thing. Doesn't level up though, so we'll see how much I end up using it. I want to go get like the final dragon guard level for this thing. A vampire, I guess. I mean, it's got a stake in the middle, right? Any sort of uh, secrets around here? Could I? Uh, I don't. Hmm. I mean, what I would. I don't think I can use items on stuff. And also, can I interact? No, this is just a vampire back here, which is interesting. Okay, time to go find the mausoleum entrance then, I suppose. Just the same thing I saw before. This is another one in here. No, there is a second thing. Okay. Yeah, sure. Secrets on top. Secrets. Well, in case I find any VHS tapes, I guess this will be useful. Hmm. Note to self. This is where a television is. Seek. Yeah, I mean, I just had the feeling that it's like, oh, that was pretty small. I wonder if there's something else in here. And maybe there is. I don't have any VHS tapes, though, of course. Ah, here we go. Here's the mausoleum. It was actually just right around the corner, it seems. Bonk. Okay, fine. I guess you gotta use, uh... You, oh, well, okay, I still do have this. Because it's coated in darkness, you've got to use something to get rid of darkness or something, right? Uh-huh. Well, give me one second here to summon this back up. Great. Well, this is what I wanted. <laughs> Hasn't been, has been a nightmare up to this point, right? Oh, God, why is it going to be getting smaller, too? Okay. Yeah, flowers. Oh. <sighs> All right. Tell me this isn't where death. Okay, well I can deal with this. Tell me this isn't where death about is about to suddenly come in to play. Kind of been forewarned about that after all. Uh Okay, fancy. I mean this is the mausoleum, I guess. So 
Skeletons? Are you about to just come out here? Yeah, no, you are. But whatever. I can deal with this. Mm-hmm. Mausoleum of the Giants, if you will. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. You give me with that. Okay, well, this is interesting. Um, hmm. I was wondering if this was just going to be like a secret area or something. Or if this was going to be the actual place that leads up to the, the third of the, the sensors. But I don't really know. Well, if I see anything glowing, I guess elements are the way you actually deal with it. Ah. <sighs> Back out here before anything bad happens. Ah! Uh, it's not. That's just, that's just one of these things. I, I've already fought one of them before. Um, anyway. Considering they're all glowing purple, I think it's fairly obvious what you gotta do with that. Okay. Uh, yeah, alright. I'm fairly obvious that this should be a fairly effective... <laughs> if I'm not getting chained up. I gotta get off the chain already. Um, this should be an effective weapon against them is what I'm trying to say. I still, well, I guess I couldn't really check to see if I could cast stuff there. You happen to be? Uh, no. Sort of looks like that might have been something, but I guess not. Well, all the way back into... To the old, uh... The maze, I guess. So jumpy. I don't know why this game. This game in particular is the one that is just getting me. It's weird, because usually it's like I don't even care about horror stuff at all, but something about, like, going through this game is... is different. <laughs> yeah? I don't know, with the lighting... It's like, it seems as if... I, I'm just gonna not summon a coffin. Let's instead get this going here. No? Well, I'm looking around. I mean, I think I've kind of explored this full area. I'm trying to go, like, farther into here. I guess is what I'm gonna be currently be looking at. Well, at least I have figured out how to get through here pretty quickly. Are you kidding me? Where? Where? How? Why? What? Huh? Hmm? What? Hmm? What? Where? Where does death approach from? I, I can run very fast. I don't... How are you doing this to me, game? Um... Uh... Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, here we go. A larger area. This way... I can, uh... See, see my Im imminent death approaching. Excuse me. Um, I can see my imminent death approaching uh, much faster, which is to say, right there. There he is. Uh, okay. Poggers. Oh, great. I'm cursed now. Is that just because I got near death? I, what, what do I do? Help me, giant head. Oh, oh, oh yeah, no, really. Cool, great. Christ. Uh, Abyssal Demon, you say? Oh, why is this happening <laughs> to me? Uh, uh. <laughs> ah! Why do you do this to me, you video game? This is... Okay, well, uh, yeah, that was something, wasn't it? Oh, wait a second. Hey, right, when I got attacked by that demon before, I mean, I guess I was just very close to finding this, but evidently not close enough. Twisted Staff, what do you got? Probably something I can't really use, given the, the build that I'm going for right now, but interesting. Uh, Twisted Staff, Twisted Staff. I have so many items, too many items. A magical staff made from twisted birch that emits a white-hot magic fire. White-hot fire magic. Close enough. Hmm. Strange. I mean, does that necessarily mean that... Is that something that I necessarily want to use? I guess maybe if I got, like, something that's weak to fire. Well, anyway. Ugh. Yeah, getting attacked by both that abyssal demon and death at the same time. You know, pretty great. Pretty fun stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know where that abyssal demon came from, but I mean, I guess I was warned about a demon down here. It looked like the uh, the demon titanite creature from Dark Souls specifically. Not that I could get a very good look at it overall. 
anyway, as I was doing before I was so rudely interrupted by, uh, death, literal, and, you know, the psychopomp. Uh, okay. So, a li walking a little bit farther into this area, I think, is the solution to what I want to do. And with the incredible movement speed that I have, uh, it should be... Maybe I can get pretty far before death decides to put an end to that entire, uh, thing. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Ow, ah, he's with the, the thing. Anyway. No, I can see something way down here. Hopefully making a beeline directly towards it is not going to be a huge mistake. It might be. You never really know on this point <laughs> in, this, in this game. Especially now that I get the kind of idea of um, the sort of threats that I'm going to be facing. Speaking of which, that's a lot of stuff. That is a lot of stuff. I'm getting that much, well, at least I'm getting that much closer again to the, uh, the marathon style first person exploration that I was, uh, looking to do at the beginning here. Look, I could have probably even fought that, uh, that abyssal demon if I wasn't also being attacked by death at the same time. <laughs> oh man, how far does this go in here? Because I feel like I'm getting pretty far into this place. I'll say it. I'm worried. I don't necessarily know if I need to be worried. Yeah. But I am. Oh, anything else in here? Got a bunch of potions and stuff. I'm not... You, you know, I'm running through this area and everything. I'm not really sure what I'm even trying to do. Exactly. <laughs> I'm just going through here with the assumption that It'll become evident as I'm doing it. Now that goes back into here. Uh, I guess I never really looked on the right side. It's a fairly large place, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there's anything in here, I guess. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it just leads like kind of into more catacombs. Well, I guess I'll cut back then if I find anything, but aside from that, I think I've kind of cleared this place out. There's like one more. Uh, ocean elixir again? Great. It's happening again. Can't get away from this guy, can I? I don't have any more crystals. No, of course not. Well, uh, I guess I'll try not to die. And that's it. <laughs> Well, I died. <laughs> I guess, ultimately, I don't really know what I'm looking for if I'm looking for anything down there right now, but I guess I'll keep this place in mind if there's something else that I'm told I might need to do. Then next time, hopefully I can actually find a VHS tape now that I know where to use them. Just have absolutely no idea where to find them in the first place.